Hello out there, my lovely calisthenics and kettlebells people. Today is a beginner flow. If you're interested in learning kettlebell flow, but you're not quite sure where to start, this is the video for you. There are several different kinds of kettlebells out there. They range from plastic kettlebells to rubber kettlebells to adjustable kettlebells. When you go to a CrossFit gym or a functional uh, fitness style gym, there are two different kinds of kettlebells. And they are competition kettlebells and cast iron kettlebells. But they what all... really makes competition kettlebells different from cast iron is they're hollow on the inside. So if I have a 12 kilogram, if I have a 16 kilogram, or a 20 kilogram competition kettlebell, they're all still going to be the same size. And since they're hollow on the inside, there's a lot less pressure on the back of your arm when you're holding them in a racked position. As opposed to a cast iron kettlebell, where the weight will determine the size and they're solid. So when you're holding them back here like so, there's a lot more pressure placed in a smaller part of the back of your arm, making it more intense to hold it in the rack position. But what makes these great is the wider handles. So these are better if you want to hold it with two hands. For flow, go with your competition. For two-handed style exercises, Go with the cast iron kettlebells, they're made for that. So uh, today's flow is gonna consist of one, two, three, four, five, six exercises. Let me go over these exercises really quick just so you're familiar with them before we start up this timer and we get into the flow. So exercise number one, we're gonna start off in a staggered position. And so whatever um, arm I'm holding the kettlebell in, in this case my right arm, I'm gonna step back on my right foot and I'm gonna hinge at the hip. I'm gonna tip forward, bending both knees. So I'm gonna start off with a row. And so from here, I'm just gonna pull the kettlebell up and back and then from here, I'm gonna stand up into the kettlebell and I'm gonna perform a squat clean. So as I stand, I'm gonna high pull the kettlebell into the racked position and right from there, drop right into a squat clean. Driving as low as I can, think elbow to the knee. Come back up out of the squat clean and then we're gonna cast it off to the right and go into a front swing. Cast off, front swing, come back up to the racked position and then as we come back up to the racked position, we're gonna be slightly rotated. We're gonna step out on the same side. Boom, into a lunge. Push back off the lunge, and then we're gonna swing, and then dead stop back, and this is where we're gonna switch arms and go again. All right, so let's go over that really quick one more time. I'll go a little quicker here. It's going to go row, squat clean, front swing, Stepping into a lunge off of the swing, push back, square back up, swing, down to a dead stop, switch hands. Ah, but before we switch hands, we're gonna drop into five push-ups. So with this one, you have two choices. You're gonna be in that dead stop position, so you can either set the kettlebell to the side and perform five push-ups, or you can keep one hand on the kettlebell, one hand on the floor, and do five offset push-ups as well. If you want to use that as an option, stand up, switch arms, back to it. All right, so we know what we're going to do, so let's go ahead and jump into the flow. I got my timer going. Again, we're going to go for three minutes. Uh, work along with me, or if you need to, you can take any breaks, pause it, get back to it. Three, two, one. We start first with that row. Then we pop it into the rack, squat. Then we go front swing, step out, reverse lunge. Come back, swing, dead stop, Hand on the kettlebell, push up, and then we switch hands. We go row, pop it up, drop. We're gonna front swing, step it out, bang. Swing it back, and push up. And that's the deal. That's what we're gonna do. Now, if you wanna have some fun with this, you can start adding more reps into some of these exercises. For instance, we can start adding a push-up. Make it two. One, two. And then add a row. Let's make it two. One, two. And then we clean. And then we swing. Step it into that lunge. Swing it back. Two push-ups. Switch hands. Two rows. Pop it. Drop, front swing, step it into that lunge. Swing it back, let's add a push up. And one, two, three, excellent. Let's switch hands. Let's make it three rows. One, two, 
three is pop it up and drop. Go to that front sway. Step it out. Swing it back. And let's go for those three push-ups. One, two, three. Let's switch hands. Three rounds. One, two, three. We got about a minute to go. Boom. Swing it out. Step into that lunge. Swing it back. Let's add a push-up. Make it four. One, two, three, four. Good. Switch hands. Four. One, two, three, four. Pop it. Drop it. Got a lateral swing. Step it into that lunge. Take it to the floor. Give me four. One, two, three, four. Switch hands. Give me four rows. Good, pop it up, drop. Go into that front swing. Step it out. Give me that swing. We got about five seconds left. Give me four more push-ups. One, two, three, and four. There you have it. Woo! That was your three-minute kettlebell flow. All it took is three minutes, and look at this. Out of breath, sweating already. Come on back, join me at this channel for some tips and tricks in calisthenics and kettlebells. Have a good one. And there you have it. Three minute beginner kettlebell flow. You felt good here? Go back, do it again. Do it a few more times. Get it under your belt. And then join me for a, a slightly more advanced version of some kettlebell flow. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit like and subscribe. I love comments too. I'll always get back to you. If you comment, come back here. Join me for some more tips and tricks on kettlebells and calisthenics.